My name is Ernest Thomas, uh, president of Onyx Fine Arts Collective. Gallery Onyx is a, uh, a retail gallery space, nonprofit, and I didn't say that before, we're a nonprofit, all volunteer organization uh, uh, in the Pacific Place Mall whose uh, who's, uh, focal is uh, showcasing the artwork of artists of African descent. So over 16 years now, we've been an organization. Uh, we now have almost 500 on our list. So there has been a demand and a shortage of, uh, of, of encouragement, you know, in, in this particular community. So, uh, so Onyx was born kind of out of a necessity. It's, it's a necessary thing for us, for our community, to showcase the artwork of artists of African descent. I don't pattern myself after anyone I just do what I do and have fun with it. Um, I worked at the Boeing Company in an area called program management. So this young man comes through, he had an office directly across from mine. He didn't report to me, but, but you know, nice guy, he would speak. And I'd go into his office and invite him to go to lunch with me. Hey, Jeff, come go to lunch with me. And uh, he's always head down, you know, thinking, being a young guy, I got to really work hard. And let everybody know I'm really working hard. I said, Jeff, come go to lunch with me. He never would go. So this one day he wasn't in his office. So I went into his office and wrote on his board, a big friend with an arrow pointing across to my office. And from that point on, we've been the best of friends. Now. The fact that Jeff is Asian, you know, uh, 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 rendered, uh, rendered this piece because now here we are, we look similar, but we're, we're different and we're connected. So uh, I call this one Brothers Indeed. This one is a piece that was rendered as a result of a challenge from you know, our organization to our artists to, to uh, do a piece re uh, relative to, uh, to, the, to the pandemic, COVID pandemic. So, you know, we had several ideas. And of course, mine came to me that, okay, I took this broken flute. You know, this is a piece of beat up flute. And uh, I said, okay, I wonder how if, if in fact sound could heal this COVID. So this is my idea, my concept. You know, sound being produced by this flute is raining down and healing COVID. That's why I call it healing sounds. Art uh, communicates at a totally different level. You know, you can look at that, you get an opinion, you read those words, those words can change 24 hours a day and you get another opinion or you don't get an opinion. So this is communicating soul to soul. And that's what I like about art in general. And that's one of the reasons why we do it is because there's a communication need here that happens without talking. And so that's why I do it. Thank you.